is up guys and welcome back to some more VGC 2019 bringing in the hard trick room team with Primal Groudon oh my god so much a pound to 1730 rating Oranguru oh my god we're still gonna get wrecked I, I, I would really love it if I was uh, back in the 1500s see what this team can do climb up instead of facing off against like already people uh, like this but uh, Rayquaza, Lunala, Zapdos, Crobat. I, you do not bring Zapdos here. You have to know I'm Trick Room. There's no point for you to bring Zapdos. You bring Rayquaza, you bring Lunala, you bring either Crobat or Feeny to counter my Amoongus, because you probably have Taunt on the Crobat. And then you bring Incineroar. I, I could just straight up lead off with Kyogre, but I think we gotta get Trick Room up. Well, let's see, we could go Kyogre, Incineroar, Oranguru, and Groudon in the back. But then again, getting Trick Room up with the Moon... But yeah, like, like if I let off Oranguru and Moongus, I'm pretty sure he's leading off with like Crobat or something. Tapu Fini and Incineroar, okay. So who's faster right here? Who's faster between... Uh, my Incineroar and your Incineroar? I have no speed investment, but I'm not a negative nature. You're faster. Or that's just a speed tie right there. So he has to fake out Kyogre. I don't even think I have Thunder on this uh, Kyogre. I think I have Ice Beam. Tapu Fini, Incineroar. So you didn't bring Crobat, and then you have Lunala and Rayquaza in the back. Yeah, I have Ice Beam, so I kind of want to protect Kyogre, and then we just switch into Oranguru. Let's do it, boys. Right, he's going to get his light screen up. And here's where I switch out into Groudon. And I'm going for Trick Room. He should still fear a... Um, what's it called? Water spout. Damn, Top of Fini is such a problem for my team. I don't really have anything that can just one shot it. Wow, he's really confident in the Incineroar taking that. So he wasn't afraid. Oh, because he went for Nature's Madness. That's why.
All right, so I have to protect right here because my Groudon outspeeds the Orangaroo, and I'm going to get gravity up. Back out to Incineroar, of course. So I could have gone for a free Swords Dance right there. This is what I'm talking about, dude. Trick Room is annoying because they can just switch in and out between the Intimidators and then just fake out with Incineroar. Switching out to Oranguru. And I think we're just going to protect right here. Damn, I don't even know what to do anymore, bro. He's going to fake me out. We're wasting turns of Trick Room. Rayquaza can then just... Um, he's going to Swords Dance, but I highly doubt he's going to let me get it off. Precipice Blades, Instruct, he probably, he'll probably just double up into Groudon right here with the U-turn and Extreme Speed and that's pretty much just it, that's just game dude. Oh wow, we're actually slower than the Incineroar. But I highly doubt Rangaroo is. Whoa, dude, they're actually running speed investment in that Incineroar. Why? They're actually running speed investment in that Incineroar. Okay, this changes everything. Why, why run speed investment in Incineroar? I don't see the point in that, guys. I don't, I just, I don't see the point of running speed investment in Incineroar. This is my last turn of Trick Room. I have to switch out into Incineroar. Protect uh, Orangaroo. Groudon is literally the only thing I have for the Tapu Fini. It's the only thing I have for the Tapu Fini. He's trying to attack my Rangaroo. He's single for Scald. Alright, you're either going to protect Rayquaza or switch out right here. Uh, let's fake out Tapu Fini. And we're going to uh, we're gonna trick him up. It's Lunala! I'm just going for the Z move. We already know he's gonna protect. We already know. We already know it, bro. 
We already know, bro. We already know. We already know you're gonna protect. How many turns of gravity do I have left? Oh, gravity's gone. Okay, I'm gonna get gravity back up. Groudon is the only thing I have for that Feeny. Welcome back, boys! My opponent did not protect. Um, my opponent did not protect the Lunala and straight up just let it go down. And they're going for a light screen with Tapu Fini. I don't, I don't see the point in that. I don't know, my opponent didn't protect the Lunala. We one-shot it. Let's go, boys. Let's go. So, uh, they have to protect Rayquaza. Dude, I can't believe. I think I think I'm gonna beat this 1730 rated player with this hard chicken team. It's a pain, dude. It's hard to use this team. Oh my god. I think I think I think we got the win though. I think we got the win. Uh, he protects Rayquaza right here. Uh, goes for a Scald into Incineroar, gets some chip damage off. Following turn, he's gonna go for a. Uh, following turn, he's gonna go for a. Uh, what's it called? Following turn, he goes for a. Uh, Extreme speed. So this is where I kind of want to get rid of U-turn on my Incineroar because um, I don't need it. I don't. I just. I just don't need it. I don't. I don't need U-turn. Protect would have been a lot better right here because you know he's gonna protect Rayquaza. And I can just spam Origin Pulse Instruct. He's just going for ex what the hell? We can oh extreme speed would that's a crit. That's that's not a crit. How did that do so much damage, bro? Wow, we get knocked out right here. We get knocked out right here. What the hell? You didn't protect the Rayquaza? Switch on to Incineroar. I'm gonna switch on to Incineroar. We're gonna Origin Pulse. What the hell? How did that do so much damage? Oh my god, get out of here. Bro, how did that extreme speed do so much damage to Kyogre? A am I running the right Kyogre? Yeah, we're gonna lose Incineroar here though. It's alright though, Incineroar did his job. No, no, no. How many turns do we have left to Trick Room, though? I have no idea. Okay, Nature's Madness, Scald. They probably have Icy Wind on it, too. They Actually, you know, they probably do have Icy Wind on it. And this is my last turn of Trick Room. So we switch out. Into a Ranguru. And we protect Groudon. We protect Groudon and I get Trick Room up. I switch out Groudon into Kyogre. Sacrifice Kyogre. Sire Kyogre. Um, so then we can just spam Instruct Precipice Blades. He does have Icy Wind. Should have brought a Ranguru out instead. I did not know I was running out of Trick Room. So this kind of sucks because I had to switch in Kyogre. He could go for a Scald. Dude, I should have brought Kyo I should have brought a Ranguru in, not Groudon. That was a dumb play. Really dumb play. 
I need Trick Room up though. You see what I'm talking about? I need Trick Room up for everything, even just for this dumb Feeny. See, that was a solid read. He knew I was gonna switch in no matter what. He went for the. He went for that slot because I was gonna switch in Kyogre. But why though? Why not focus on the uh, Oranguru? We already know that, um... Okay, I need gravity up. I need gravity up. I'm not risking it, dude. I'm not risking it. Actually, this, we'll find out right now if Orangaroo is like... Because I do have speed investment in Orangaroo because I need it so that Groudon outspeeds. And then we can do Instruct. So we'll find out if Orangaroo is slower than Groudon. I mean, the Phoenix. Yep, yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. So, Gra so yeah, we're pre that's, that's game right there. We just go for Precipice Blades and uh, Instruct. I hope so. I, I hope that's game, bro. If not, we lose. If Gra Okay, actually, this might actually activate their 50% berry. <laughs> oh my god, this isn't good. Instruct and Precipice Blades. Actually, I think I lose. Um, hello? Groudon's supposed to be slower. What the? What was that? Whoa, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. Groudon, you're supposed to be slower than a Ranguru. Okay, we still won. But wait, wait, what was that? I, I, I have speed investment in uh, a Ranguru, so a Ranguru can outspeed Groudon. Am I losing my, my thing? Am I losing my, my mind right now? Is Instruct like priority or something? It's not. Whoa, 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 whoa. Am I running the wrong Oranguru? Because I put speed investment in Oranguru, so it outspeeds Groudon. So I can go for Precipice Blades. What the hell? This is whack, bro. The way that should have gone, it should have been Groudon going for Precipice Blades first, and then Oranguru goes for Instruct. I don't know. That was weird. I don't know. That was weird, man. Oh, the ice. Oh, the icy wind. The icy wind. Don't, 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 don't tell me in the comments, guys. Icy wind. I get it. I get it. I just, I just remembered. Icy wind. Icy wind. I forgot about that. Oh my god, bro. I almost lost because of that. If that precipice blades didn't knock out the uh what the hell with the 1757 rating if the the precipice blades didn't knock out did that, that would have been a game right there bro that would have been game so kyogre necrozma incineroar lele salamence and amoongus so you bring amoongus here because you see that trick room is going to benefit it oh my god and they have kyogre so that pretty much gets rid of that Oh, this sucks, dude. This sucks. Okay, so you bring... I think I'm pretty sure you bring Necrozma when you bring Kyogre. You bring a Moongus. And you probably want to bring... Incineroar. Alright, this this sucks. This really sucks because Amoongus... Amoongus is obvious... Um, uh, another Amoongus will be a problem for a hard Trick Room team. That sucks. So I need to go Incineroar though. And going with Amoongus kind of sucks here because they have Salamence, but I do have the Koba Berry, but they also have Lele, and I don't have Payapa Berry on Amoongus. So I think we'll go Kyogre here. Ah, oh, but then I can't. Yeah, okay, it's cool. We go Kyogre, Groudon, and Oranguru. So they go. If they go Kyogre. I can just switch in Groudon, but that's it's ob it's such an obvious play though. Why well, shouldn't lead off with Salamence though and not Lele? Because if they didn't lead off with Lele, I could have gone Amoongus and catch my opponent off guard because they think they're gonna be able to one-shot Amoongus, but I have Koba Berry. 
But I'm pretty sure they're probably going to want to lead off Lele instead because it helps out with Fake Out. Yeah, see, Lele and Necrozma, so... Uh, who am I more afraid of? I'm more afraid of the... Okay, my opponent can pull off the same thing my that other that other guy that I battled, the video that I uploaded where they just literally ignored my one Pokemon and doubled up into another one. I can see that happening here. They can go from Moonblast and Earth Power into Incineroar if that's uh, Ultra Necrozma, and it probably is. This is where again, this is where I feel like Protect would probably be better on Incineroar instead of uh Yeah, this is where I feel like it would be more important. But let's see, I feel like we need a knockout. I really want to knock out the Necrozma. And I'm not gonna protect. I kinda wanna just go for the origin pulse. This is where I wish I this is where I wish I had scald. We're gonna we're gonna Z move and we're gonna origin pulse. They're doubling up into Incineroar. They're doubling up into Incineroar. Told you, bro! What did I say, man? What did I say? Once again, they ignored my other Pokemon and they just go for Incineroar. So I could have just, uh. And then, yeah, yeah. And of course, the Pokemon I'm actually trying to connect on is the one that avoids. Yeah, we have to go on Narangru. Ah, uh, this is where I want Protect. This is where I want Protect on Incineroar, dude. Once again, they just ignore my Pokemon and just go for Incineroar. So yeah, I'm going for Trick Room, but I'm pretty sure you have... You have to have... You have Kyogre and you probably have uh, Amoongus in the back. I'm going to Protect uh, Kyogre here. And we're going to Trick Room. Once again, they completely ignore... That's Amoongus right there. Told you, that's game, dude. That's game. Amoongus just counters my uh, my Trick Room team. Yeah, they're going for the Z-Move. That's on Kyogre for sure. That's why he wanted. That's why he wanted to get rid of uh, Incineroar right there. Yeah, so I think I kind of uh, yeah I think I kind of want to get rid of U-turn on Incineroar and give it protect. I really hate this Z move. It takes forever. Yeah, we're just gonna get wrecked. Like if I can't get Trick Room up, I'm screwed. But then if I get Trick Room up when my opponent has a slow Pokemon like Amoongus, I'm also screwed. But hey, at least we're able to defeat a 17 30 rated player. But barely, dude. Barely. Growlon barely knocked out that top of Fini. Yeah, we got Chick Room up. Uh, we're pretty much screwed. I'm gonna go for Instruct. Ice Beam, but it's not like I'm gonna be able to get it off. He's gonna go for Spore into Kyogre. He's switching on to his own Kyogre. Yeah, pretty much just lose right here. I'm not gonna be able to do anything. He went for Spore on Orangaroo.
Can I get a freeze? He's gonna put us to sleep, yo. He's gonna put us to sleep, yo. All right, so we're gonna leave a Ranguru in here, and I'm just gonna go for gravity. How many turns we have left the Trick Room? We've got three turns left the Trick Room. We're gonna switch out Kyogre into Groudon. Yeah, things ain't looking good though. Watch my opponent be a god and they go for ice cream into that slot. I'm gonna go for Swords Dance and, uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, he wants to knock out Ranguru. That actually did a pretty decent amount of damage. Gravity. Swords Dance. Like, I, I like the team, like, it's cool. Like, if you can get the Trick Room of Gravity and then just sweep with Groudon Instruct, like, that would be pretty cool, but it's kind of hard to do that. He's going back out into Necrozma. So, unless Groudon wakes up, we're pretty much screwed. He's gonna Ice Beam us. Ranguru wakes up. Gravity up. So, well, actually, we still have a chance. Groudon could wake up right here and we go for Precipice Blade Instruct. And that actually knocks out the Necrozma, if we can wake up right here. Because this is our last turn of Trick Room. Instruct. And Precipice Blades. So we need Groudon to wake up right here. Right now, if Groudon doesn't wake up, I pretty much, I like, I pretty, I just, I have no chance anyway. Oh, Groudon's still asleep. Nice. He's going for a Ranguru. Alright, uh, we're gonna get Trick Room up again. And I'm gonna go for Precipice Blades. Yeah, I, uh, I just don't see myself winning this one. That's gonna knock me out. I think Ice Beam knocks out a Ranguru anyway, right? Oh, we survived with 9 HP. I should have gone for Protect. Yeah, I should have gone for protect, but I don't even think I don't think Groudon was gonna wake up anyway. But it doesn't matter. Like th I'm telling you, there's like it's really hard to use this team. Even if let's say Groudon wakes up, I get the protect off, I get Trick Room, um, and my opponent sacrifices. Like let's say my opponent sacrifices either the Necrozma or the the Kyogre right here, because he protects one, doesn't protect the other one. I go for Precipice Blades, Instruct. It's gonna knock one of them out. Two Precipice Blades will knock out the Kyogre. So it doesn't matter because then he just uh, gets a free switch into into what's it, what's it called? He gets a free switch into um, I'm gonna instruct and origin pulse. He gets a free switch into Amoongus. He just puts me to sleep. Once again, stalls out stalls out my trick room. And then uh, 
his Pokemon outspeed and just destroy mine. But we got a critical hit on Kyogre. So, I need Trick Room because this team is a hard Trick Room team, so I'm screwed if I don't have it. But if my opponent has a slow Pokemon like a Moongus, it, it's like, I need Trick Room to help me out, but at the same time, Trick Room is going to help out my opponent's Moongus. Yeah, that's a GG right there. At least I was able to defeat that 1730 rated player, even though it was close. And that's what I'm noticing too about this team. It's not really, it's not really like sweeps, you know? Like I'm not 4-0-ing somebody. It's like if I win, like I'm barely winning. That's gonna be a Moongus, easy. Let's focus Ash Lele then. Or does it, does uh, does Origin pull through the one shot Lele? Spread damage. It's probably a focus ass for sure then. Gravity's gone and I'm down to two turns of the trick room. Water spout. I think water spout knocks out Kyogre at that range. I wonder why he didn't just bring out Amoongus. Amoongus would have taken the the origin pulse. Anyway, and then he can just go for Spore. Oh, I didn't even knock out Kyogre. Yeah, see, this is where I kind of want to start back out, start back in the 1500s. Yeah, I'm just gonna forfeit. There's nothing I can do. As soon as I saw the Amoongus in the team preview, I was like, oh my god, dude. And then I had a feeling, too, that he was going to double up into Incineroar. That's why I want, uh, what's it called? I think I need to put Protect on Incineroar. That's the second time I run into an opponent who literally just ignores my other Pokemon and just tries to double up into Incineroar. Actually, I think, the, I think it was the exact same way against the other dude I battled, too. It was Moonblast and Earth Power into Incineroar to knock me out. Yeah! It was their Lele and their Krozma both doubling up into my Incineroar. But anyway guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks again for watching. This team, it can have its moments, but yeah, I'm finding it very difficult to use. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again next time.